welcome to Size Me. Um, this tutorial is only a very small tutorial. It's just to help you measure yourself correctly for our standard monkey size patterns. By that, I mean the patterns like these, the ones that you purchase that have lots of different sizes on there, just standard sizes, as opposed to our size need patterns. So they're the bespoke patterns uh, where you would measure all of your body and you would get a custom made pattern for you. So this is just for the standard patterns, okay guys. So all we're going to measure is our bust, our waist and our hips. Uh, excuse the unflattering top. Well, you do need something that's quite fitted in order to do this. So a vest top, uh, just something where you can actually measure your body. Because what we want is your actual body measurement. So it's not a case of measuring your waist and going, oh, well, I like them a bit more roomy. Uh, because then what that does is it oversizes everything and nothing will fit properly. So this process is to actually measure your body specifically. We're going to start off with the easiest one, which is the bust. Uh, I'm guessing most of you will have done this in a, uh, a bra fitting shop or, or, or something. So we're going to measure across the fullness of your bust here and straight across the back. Hopefully you can see my tape against my black top. Okay. So we are straight across the front of my bust. But can you see how we're nice and horizontal? So we're parallel to the floor. We're not on a wonk. Nothing on a wonk. It's all nice and straight. I'm not pulling it too tight and I'm not giving it any extra. Okay, and then I'm going to take the measurements. Now, we use centimetres, guys. So remember when you're measuring to do centimetres, not inches? So that's very simple how to do the bust. Um, let's do the waist next. The waist is always uh, a controversial measurement. <laughs> One, because we never want to know what it measures. Uh, but two, it's where we think our waist is. So lots of people think our waist is here, which is where we wear our trousers. Now if I just step, step into the direction here, can you see that is not the thinnest part of my body? The thinnest part is up here, isn't it? But if I told you that that was your waist, you'd think I'd gone bonkers crazy. But that is what's known as your natural waist. So whenever you're measuring uh, for size me patterns or any patterns, when you're measuring your waist, it's not where you wear your trousers, it's the narrowest part of your trunk, okay? The best way to find it is to get yourself some elastic and just tie it, not too tight, but so that the, the elastic is working across your tummy, and don't laugh guys, but then I want to do a wriggle, <laughs> do a wriggle, and this elastic will find the narrowest part of your body. Now, normally, it's kind of just under your rib, which will feel high, but that's where it is, just under your rib. It's really important that you do that. You will notice, if you measure the two, that this measurement is about five, six centimetres less so I've lost your weight already before you've even started. <laughs> so it's about five, six centimetres less than the measurement below it here. Now what that means is if you choose something based on your waist measurement and you've measured it in the wrong place, it's going to be far too big. And I think that's why lots of people struggle with size sometimes on the standard patterns, is because they measure their waist down here, but then everything else is too big. So take it right up, You'll smile because you'll be you'll you'll uh, measure less. So right up, just underneath the ribs. And if in doubt, measure a few places, and it's the smallest area that's your waist measurement. Okay. The next one is your hips. So unfortunately, this is the other way around. This is the worst part that you can find. So it's the biggest part, and you're going to go across your bottom, taking in the fullness of your bottom and finding the widest part of your hips. Now I'll just step, sorry, I'll just step back in front of the camera. Hopefully you can see that where I've got the tape is the widest part that I can measure. Do it in front of a mirror, it might give you the same information, but if you don't want to do it in a mirror, just measure a few times until you get to the point that's the widest. So again, we're all nice and straight, we're all parallel to the floor, and that's where we would measure our hips. 
There is one complication with the hips. So uh, let me just set up the demo for you. Don't laugh too hard. Imagine you had what they call a protruding belly. <laughs> this is all I could find as a cushion, guys. Please forgive me. Now, a little sticky out of belly, it sometimes has nothing to do with weight. A lot of the time, it's nothing to do with weight. So sometimes it's to do with posture. So if you imagine that my shape is like this, so I've got a, a sticky outy belly here, and I measure my hips down here underneath that belly, which I'll be honest is what my husband does all the time, despite his clump. Um, what, what you get is a false reading for this measurement. So imagine if it's a pair of trousers. It doesn't take into account any of this. So what I would like you to do, if you have a sticky outy tummy, and if I'm honest, I think I still have a little bit of a sticky out tummy. I want you to take something flat. This is just uh, a quilting ruler. I want you to take something flat. You may need somebody to help with this. And I want you to pop it on your tummy like that. And then when we measure the hip measurement, I want you to go around that piece of plastic, a, a book, a um, piece of cardboard, whatever you have handy. So can you see it's adding some dimension here and that's just going to make your clothes fit so much better. You may not like it because it does increase your hip measurement um, but I promise you your clothes will look so so much better if you measure in that way. Okay so just to recap, I'm going to take that pop out guys, just to recap you do the fullness of your bust and we're not pulling anything tighter, yeah we're not going to make anything extra big. We're going to keep everything in a nice straight line here and across the back. Our waist is our smallest bit generally just underneath our, our rib cage. Even if you don't wear your trousers in that location it doesn't matter. It's about how the pattern was designed. Okay, So it will be designed with this as the waist measurement but they will have designed the trousers to sit lower. So we still don't want this measurement, guys. We always want the one that's underneath the hips, the ribs, sorry. The last one is your hips. The biggest part for this, straight across your bottom. And if you do have trouble with that bit, this area, be it for posture, then I just want you to put something flat down the front of it and measure around it. So you're increasing that hip uh, dimension, okay? Hopefully, that's gonna help you already make everything fit you much more beautifully. Uh, but don't forget, here at Size Me, we do what we call Size Need patterns. So if you give us dimensions, we will custom make the pattern to fit you perfectly. Okay? If you are interested in that, pop along to the website and have a look at, at, at how you do it. But basically, we need more measurements. So there's another guide for that if you want to have a look. All right, guys. Happy sewing!